Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 5, part 4 of the Dreaded Dunes in the Dreaded Dunes tournament but also a course on tour number 8, the Mountain Tour. Video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic and before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. A little special hole guide version, let me know what you think in the comment below. I'm gonna go over first pro, then we're gonna go over expert and have in mind this version can be used on tour 8 as well if you are there playing. So let's go with the video. First we start with pro, you're gonna see two drives, one with the extra mile four and a half bar topspin which is the maximum and I play with a katana ball I don't see that I do need to play with a power three ball here playing with a driver as the extra mile level six because the only plan for me here now is to get this ball to bounce over the sand get over to the fairway without using overpower because if I have to use overpower then that I'm gonna struggle hitting perfect and then we might risk going into the rough or into the sand perfect ball and we do play the drive with a 10% over adjustment. Getting it down there to the fairway and before we're gonna take the second shot we are going to play with a big topper and here we do need a power 3 ball. Even if you have a lower level big topper I would consider that to be a better play tournament wise but obviously you're not gonna have the big topper in many of your bags when you play tour play but you might could consider having it if you have three or four bags based on where your clan is in the clan structure or clan system. Max top spin, and then we adjust maximum distance plus 10. If you aren't in max distance, you push up your target into max distance, but I would say power three ball is important here. And if you do play and push, uh, push this shot and play with a little overpower, you might get very close to the green. You can also change to a power five ball like a berserker ball reach even further and then you might be on green if you are lucky. Second shot, now we're gonna play this one without spin. And I like to play this shot without spin to just get that, get this one to the hole. Uh, and you know, we try to find a spot on the fairway where we aren't going to have a problem with an inconsistent bounce. No elevation is needed to add here and that is very important for me to have said. And we are going to take the shot just as normal uh, with basically min minimum slash medium distance distance on the club here. But that's obviously going to be dependent on the, uh, on the drive. So that was pro. So let's go over to expert. We came very, very close though. Let's go over to expert and we are going to start with the drive there as well. And here obviously if you have a superior club like an apocalypse level 6 or level 7 or a Thor's hammer level 6 or 7, use that club. You do want to use as much topspin as possible. And now we're going to try to gain as much distance as possible and here you can play this one. Uh, pay, play it as tough as you feel comfortable with. 10% extra, very important when you add and it's max distance. Once you're done. If you do have more distance up towards max club, you push up your target into max club. Because you will not, with the slight headwind we're having here, you will not be able to uh, go too far. That's not going to be possible. The top spin here is going to help us and get very, very far. I'm going to have a short iron towards the pin. If you have tailwind in tour play, you can actually go for green here by using a little overpower, bouncing on the fairway up towards the green. Now we are in minimum distance and I'm going to play this shot minimum distance only, no elevation. The only thing that I should have thought of is like we have a crosswind and every time we have a crosswind the ball is going to be affected by the wind. So this ball is going to be slightly pushed to the left. So now when I'm going here and I miss my shot to the left then uh, you will uh, maybe have a, like a aha. Uh -huh, Okay, so what do we do? We add two or three decimals. I would say 0 0.2 to your adjustment. So if your thorn or hornet says you're gonna play two rings, then you play 2.2 rings in, instead, and then you're gonna get that one in the hole. Still, for pro and expert, no elevation, second shot, 10% for the drive. So thank you so much for watching this whole guide for pro and expert division, also for tour number eight, the mountain tour. Subscribe to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy to get the text guides. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the tournament and on tour number eight.